she has gone to the dark side. What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. Hattie here for those of you that are new. As you have seen from the title, I am going to do a little bit of a sit down, more in depth chat as to what's going on. What's going on in the little old world of H. And to start off with, I'm gonna discuss me officially starting my first ever steroid based cycle. Exciting times. So obviously I have already done a video previously stating that I'm not natural and that I was, or I'm still on the likes of um, growth hormone. Um, and obviously I wanted to be open and honest and explain my reason behind it. Just give you a little bit more of an insight for anybody that follows me and wants to kind of see what's achievable, natural versus assisted. I just don't want to kind of be ambiguous about saying things and like not actually giving the full in-depth information. Now, disclaimer, before we get into it, I am not here to one, promote the use of PEDs or any form of assistance, and two, to educate people. I am not a coach, I am not a doctor, I am not someone that writes information and puts out rounds of certain information and facts and things like that, that is not what this video is for and that's not what I'm using my platform for. It is essentially me saying my reasoning behind why I have personally chosen to go on some form of assistance and what that means for me and kind of documenting what happens. So do with this what you please, but I am not at all saying go and do drugs. Please, please, that is not, that's not the vibe that we're going for. But nevertheless, we'll get a little bit further into it. So if you haven't already, make sure that you do go check out my last video. Um, that was a couple of months ago, I think now. Um, but yeah, so in terms of updates from me, I am currently 12 weeks into my current diet phase. And also just to let you guys know as well, this is not a competition prep, not. I will not be getting on stage at the end of this diet, nor this year like it's not happening and I think there's been a little bit of confusion with some people um thinking that I am prepping which it is technically a prep but just not for stage you know um which obviously has been another deciding factor as to me going on to another form of PEDs so 12 weeks into my diet phase I'm about 18 pounds down roughly on average with where I'm sitting at now um and Things have been moving really, really well, and I've been happy with the progress. Physique is looking all right, <laughs> if I do say so myself, um, and things are moving well. So, throughout the whole entire of this entirety of this diet, I have been running human growth hormone, um, Clen, Yohimbine, Metformin, T4. Um, that has been my stack. However, last week, so we are, what day are we today? We are the 10th of June, I believe, 12th, <laughs> correction, we are the 12th of June, um, and last week I started Prima Bowling. Now, I have started it obviously a week ago, and prior to that, I had been thinking about it a lot, and in my head, I kind of knew that I would at some point start my first cycle, it was just a matter of when, not if, um, and it's, it's happened. She started, she's on it, she's on the juice. So, first off, reasoning behind wanting to go on some form of assistance. Now, I am not oblivious to the fact that I need a lot of fucking muscle to be competitive, especially within the likes of wellness division. Now, I know that my genetics and my natural shape fit the criteria. However, you need more than just the shape, you need the muscle, you need the density, you need the muscle maturity, and with that comes time and patience, and in some cases, 
some form of assistance. Now, I am not oblivious to that. Um, I am wanting to take this career as it is within bodybuilding as far as possible. Like I've got some big, big goals and I'm not afraid to say that. I do wanna go far and I wanna do as well as possible. And I know that I can't physically do it naturally. I, yes, it might be being impatient, but it's also being realistic. Um, so that was why I started on growth. Um, but also whilst I'm currently in this diet phase as well, as I said, it's not a prep for stage. When you diet and when you diet hard and for a long period of time, you run the risk of potentially starting to lose muscle that you have spent building. Now I have been in a surplus or thereabouts for, I wanna say knocking on 13, 14 months now. So a fair amount of time. And I'd like to think that I have put on some muscle size in that time. Now, with dieting, I do not want to, while still being in my off season, diet, but run the risk of losing muscle that I've just spent the last year trying to build. So, my options are either cut the diet short and not run myself into the ground and stop when I know that I'm gonna be depleted, I'm gonna risk losing muscle or not retaining things, um, or introduce something. And for me, I've chosen to introduce something, and that is Primo. So I will be running it for a few weeks. Um, I'm not gonna go into details with my dosages, um, how long my cycle is, anything like that, just because this, as I said, is purely me giving you information and an insight as to what my choices are. It's not for education. So for me personally, I am jabbing twice a week with Primo. I'm jabbing every day with um, growth. Um, so my Primo dose is split into two. Um, and I do it on a Wednesday and a Saturday, and then obviously growth, I do it every day, and all my other orals I take daily as well, um, and I will be doing it for however many weeks that is necessary when I've spoken, like, once I've spoken to my coach, which I am doing daily anyway, um, we will decide the correct length of time that I need to be on it for my first cycle. Um, Primo is not something that you can be running long-term, especially as a female. I am not gonna be doing that. I am making sure that I am as safe as possible whilst using this. Um, Primo, for those of you that don't know, it is a steroid-based androgenic anabolic steroid. So it does have properties to potentially cause virilization. And that in itself is basically when females can almost adopt traits and characteristics like male features, i.e. a lower voice, um, facial features change in terms of your jaw structure and things like that, and also changes in the genital area, which obviously none of them or any others do I want. It can cause fertility issues as well. So there are side effects, there are negative side effects. Now my job for me personally is to minimize those as much as possible, but I still run the risk of potentially having some form of a side effect. Now I'm not oblivious to that. Um, and it's kind of part and parcel when you go on to any form of assistance, um, no matter kind of like the rank of where it is, whether it's the safest or the, the most dangerous as it were. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing the necessary things to keep an eye on kind of where things are going. I do regular blood tests. Um, I check in with kind of like speaking to people and making sure that my voice is okay. Um, things like that, to just make sure that everything is tickety-boo and as good as can be. So, that's kind of like where we're at with things. I was a little bit unsure as to whether I was gonna do this or not, but I thought, you know what, whilst we're here, I might as well just again, just to kind of give you a little bit of an insight. I'm not gonna go into actually showing you the process, but just so you guys are aware, I thought I would show you. So this here is the little golden elixir of muscle growth, <laughs> should we say. This is Prima Bowling. Now it is liquid, um, therefore it is injectable. I inject it with this needle here. It is an insulin needle. Now it is very, very small. The needle itself, I'm not gonna take the cap off, but the needle itself is extremely small and fine. But essentially I fill up my necessary dose within this needle and I pop it into my shoulder. So that is where I put the Primo, is I alternate between each shoulder um, on a Wednesday and a Saturday. And that is that. Um, and again, do it as safe as possible. Make sure everything is kind of like nice and clean and all of that sort of stuff. I also use the same needle for Alcarnitine, again, injectable form. And I have recently been jabbing this into my glute. Um, 
So you can pretty much do it in your glute, your shoulder, your quad. You can also put Primo into your glute and um, your quad as well. I just personally prefer to do it into my shoulder for Primo, it's easier, and Alcarnitine into my bum because again, easier preference, um, but that is what it is. And lastly is growth. It is actually in the fridge at the minute because it does need to be kept refrigerated. But same again, liquid form, tiny little bottle, the same as Primo, um, and I'll use the same needle, not like the actual same needle, we don't do that, um, but the same style, um, and that goes into my stomach. Um, so I literally just pinch a little bit and jab it straight in. That is kind of like what I do in my regime. and. Oral form, we are currently running Yehimbine, Clenbuterol, and T4. Again, I'm not going to specify doses because I don't want anybody out there, I, you know, I don't know who my reach is in terms of my audience, and I don't want anybody of any age to kind of look at this and think, I want to look like her, if that's what you want, or you want to kind of get into the gym and dabble within PEDs and things like that and be like, right, okay, well, this is what Hattie's running, so that's what I need to run. No, if you are seriously thinking about going on to some form of assistance, please, please do your own personal research. Make sure you are looking into everything, the good, the bad, speaking to people who are educated, who know their shit. Get an online coach, do as much research as possible. Don't just think, right, she's on it, this is what she's taking, this is what I'm gonna go on, because that is not how it works at all. Um, Oh, and also some metformin tablets as well. Um, that is pretty much everything. I think that's everything that I'm on. So yeah, that's that's kind of like where we're at. Um, again, as I said, Primo has been my choice. Um, I want to not waste time, essentially. I need to not be impatient, <laughs> which you could argue that I am. But at the same time, in a nutshell, my reasoning for going on to Primo is one, retain muscle within this diet phase because I want to get as much fat off as possible to stand me in good stead for when I do prep next year. I don't want to kind of like have too much fat on me to then go into another building phase and then have to shed it all off again because it's just, it's just not what I want to go through and I don't want to have to have a grueling prep and spend weeks and weeks and weeks getting off fat that was just unnecessarily put on in the first place. So. Retaining muscle is one of them for this diet phase. It also, obviously, it has properties of mass gaining, building muscle, effectively building more muscle um, than you would naturally. So there is the ability to still grow and progress whilst dieting, which naturally, ordinarily, would you build muscle whilst you're dieting? Not really. Um, it's possible, but not, not substantial muscle. muscle. So, that is another reason is I want to still grow whilst I'm dieting. And also, just all round grow. I want to have as much muscle as possible to fit the criteria in every way, whether that's the amount of muscle that I need, the shape, everything. That is what I'm aiming for. Now, again, I am a competitive bodybuilder. This is, I wanna say more extreme than your average gym goer. So for anybody out there that's just enjoying the gym, they, in, like, they go, how, for mental health or just, just improve their physique or anything like that, they're not stepping on stage, they're not entering any sort of competition based on their physique. My personal advice, stay away. Stay away from any form of PEDs because it is not necessary. In general as well, I wouldn't advise anyone else to go on it. This is my personal opinion, this is what I've chosen to do, I've looked into it, I've done my research, I've weighed up the pros, the cons, the negatives, I've spoken to many, many people and it has been a conversation I've been having for probably, I want to say, knocking on a year now. So I have not taken this decision lightheartedly and I've not gone into it blind. Um, and as I said, I'm doing everything as safe as possible. So that is essentially kind of like what I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about is be open and honest. I said I was going to be from the start. I said as and when I went on something and I started a cycle, I would tell you guys. Um, so yeah, things are very, very early days at the moment, given that I started last week, so I did two jabs last week, and I will be doing one tonight as well, um, so it's early days, very, very early. Um, I've noticed a slight improvement in terms of feeling full, pumps in the gym, um, retaining strength a lot better than what I was, 
um, intensity within my training. There has been some positive impacts so far. Nothing negative that I have noticed other than I've got a slight bit of bruising on my glute where I have been jabbing the L-carnitine, um, but I'm not bothered about that. But yeah, in terms of severe negative side effects, I haven't noticed anything yet. Um, I am monitoring it. I'm checking in with my coach on a regular basis and I've got people around me that I can talk to and rely on for kind of further information should I need it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like where we're at. Um, if you have any questions, obviously feel free to message me, drop them in the comments, message me on Instagram. I am more than happy to talk to people individually about things and about my experience and kind of more in depth information should you want to ask. But as I said, I do not at the moment, don't plan on it. I don't plan on giving any dosages. As I said, I don't want anybody to see this and copy it and think it's the right thing to do. This platform as well is not for educational purposes. Do not use what I say as like Bible, gospel. Don't be like, right, okay, well, she's gone on this. She's started Primo, she's on growth. She's been using this, this, and this. So I have to do this. No, please don't. This is me saying my reasoning behind my personal choice. That is it, nothing more than that. I just wanna be transparent and give you guys the lowdown and stuff like that and keep, keep you in the loop, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it. I am gonna be on my way to the gym to hit a spicy back session, maybe upper. I might, I might throw in a few little delt movements and I will be giving you guys a physique update as well. So I'll probably do that once I have got a pump because I don't like doing it nice and flat. <laughs> so I will show you guys kind of like where my physique is looking at now. Obviously there might be some changes um, since having started my cycle. Um, so it'll be exciting to see kind of what you guys think as well in terms of how things are looking. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did comment, like, subscribe, please do, because it's really, really helping out the channel at the moment. Things are moving so well. And honestly, I really do appreciate all the support and the love and everything from everybody. And the fact that everybody is following along on this crazy chaotic journey that is my life <laughs> at the moment, which I'm not complaining about because things are fabulous. But yeah, other than that, as always, I hope you enjoyed and make sure to stay tuned for the next one.